welcome back guys so here what we see is a v3 of peltier based personal cooling setup and this is the kind of jankiest setup that i have ever made and what i've done over here is basically go on all out on this particular setup so there are currently 10 chips 10 peltier modules running under these heat sinks so there are four of them over here let me focus a bit so there are four here there are three here and then there are three here so a total of 10 chips and what i've done is i've replaced those uh, thick amd heat sinks with uh, this kind of aluminium junk and the theory was that basically those amd heat sinks took a lot of time to cool down basically they were working as thermal capacitors holding the heat or like whatever the amb ambient temperature there was so i went with these thin ones uh, with the idea that uh, pro probably they'll cool down faster and then these fans will uh, blow the breeze out to me like that usually i'll run a shroud over here on top of it so the cold air does not leak and it gets thrown towards me so this is basically the cold side all of this aluminium junk is all the cold side for the hot side i have these three water blocks and they're running in series currently here with the regular um, submersible water pump and currently this system is running at 5 volts so the system is drawing a lot less power and each of these Peltier draws at an average of around 2 amps each so 10 Peltiers would be somewhere around 20 amps roughly because there's a bit of mix of Peltiers over here there are different models but I basically threw in whatever that I had and that's the like the biggest setup that I have tried today and of course I had to upgrade the power supply since the 300 watt power supply was not enough for 10 chips so I want uh, so I went with this larger one 500 550 watt unit and that's basically the kind of setup that I have and the improvement in cooling honestly was not that big I was expecting a big change because we went from like 5 chips to directly 10 chips and I was expecting there would be a big uh, boost in the cooling over here that did not happen so what i'll do is i'll keep doing all these experiments and trying new things out if you have any ideas comment below and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more diy experiments like these take care and have a nice day guys